Welcome back everyone to The Long Dark. This is going to be a continuation of my series on the challenges of The Long Dark, basically just trying to work my way through each and every one of them. Um, if you caught the, the last series, I took on The Hunted Part 1 um, as kind of my first foray into these challenges. Ultimately, that one didn't play out in my favor. Um, I did die just really shortly before the end of that challenge. Um, so I'm, I am going to revisit that at some point. I'm going to basically start start anew. Um, you know, that's kind of what I've got to do since I died. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and move on to something else for the time being. And then when the time feels right, I'll probably go back um, and finish that one up. So there will eventually be a, an episode four to that series. But for now, we're going to go ahead and get started on a new challenge. And I think with the one that I want to take on next is As the Dead Sleep. And I, I really don't know much about this one, truth be told. Um, I know significantly less than what I did about The Hunted Part 1. Um, but what I gather from the description over there is I basically just need to um, kind of visit a set, uh, some set points within the map. Um, and really that seems like it. So uh, it, I do see the, the difficulty meter there is at the top. So I can imagine that this is going to be a pretty challenging one. Um, resources are probably going to be limited. I'm just uh, curious to see what we can get into um, kicking this challenge off. So we'll go ahead and start. Um, I was Astrid last time or the female character. So I'm going to go ahead and be Mackenzie or the male. So we'll go there. And then we'll just call this as the dead sleep and let's go all right so chance for one last journey before the final cold sets in walk the past visit the graves make things right before the end visit all the grave sites marked on your map there is no time limit as your life ebbs death is the only barrier so we'll see what happens i imagine that it's going to be uh the survival elements on this one are going to be pretty challenging probably so um, really don't know what I'm walking into. All right, where are we? We are at the Fallen Lighthouse. Um, and I actually forget where this is. Let's pop this guy open. Oh, nice. We get the full map right away. Okay, so we're on Bleak Inlet. Uh, that's a hell of a place to start. <laughs> um, so let's just collect what we can. Um, let's see, was there anything on that map? I think that's the whole idea, is that I need to visit these spots. I'll tell you what, let's, uh, let's go ahead and do some looting here quickly. We'll move on, we'll try and get to some shelter, and then once I'm kind of out of the elements, we'll, uh, we'll go ahead and pop the map open and take a look at, at what, uh, what we need to do. So I got a marine flare, that's going to be crucial for this region just because of the timber wolves. Um, I assume that the timber wolves, since this is a, one of the harder challenges, are probably going to be cranked up, ready to go. Let's see if there's anything really up here. Honestly, I've not spent too much time on this particular uh, spot in Blink Inlet, so I'm not really sure if there's anything even worth going up here for. It doesn't look like it, unless you just kind of want to end everything. Um, so we'll go ahead and just backtrack here and then, uh, let's take a look while we're up here, I guess. It might be the thing to do. Um, okay, so there's the cannery. There's not really an interior location in the cannery, so I don't know that I really want to head there first. Um, but I guess there are the, the cannery workers' residence right there. Maybe we'll head there first, um, and, and just use that as a reprieve from the, the cold and kind of take stock it. Uh, what we need to do and wh where all the different locations that we need to hit are. So I think that's going to be my plan. Um, this place was fairly fruitless. Let's go ahead and pick up the can. I don't know that I started with any... Okay, I do have a little bit of water, so that's okay. So a little bit of water, not a, not a ton of food. Um, hopefully we'll, so we'll find something over there, but we'll see. It's hard to say at this point. Okay, let's not do that too much. Alright, so the most direct path would obviously be just right over to those. Um, so I'm gonna pick up this guy, over there. 
Um, and it's getting colder, so I don't want to spend too much time out here. Curious to, to see what uh, you know what the element of this challenge is that makes it so difficult. Um, it's just like can be pretty barren on resources that I can collect or uh, you know, what the story is. Um, I was going to go to that fishing hut right over there, but honestly I'm starting to get cold pretty fast, so I'm going to head for the, the shelter and we'll maybe hit that fishing hut between here and there on the way. And then maybe we can Fingers feel numb. go back over there um, once we kind of get recharged and caught up on some things. Yeah, so all I really know is, like I said, that we're basically kind of have to visit different areas of the map. I don't know how many, I don't know where they're located, um, all of that type of information. So um, that's really what I kind of need to get figured out first. Uh, we'll kind of come up with a side attack from there. Cold. Already cold. Get to uh, the ice fishing hut here. We'll see if there's any food or, or quick resources in there, and then we'll head straight for the, the residence over there and uh, see what we can come up with. The one thing about the cannery is that there, I'm sure that there's food over there. I think you can break down some of those boxes, and they're just like uh, packed with uh, tins of sardines. Um, but the other thing too that I don't love what's going on here? Like me. Um, the other thing I don't love about going over there is we'll take that for some timber. Is that uh, the timber wolves are over there. Um, which are not to be trifled with, so we'll see. I didn't find any food in there, which is kind of fun, but I guess I really shouldn't have expected much. Get inside though before it gets much worse. Alright. Cool. Be warm at least. Should be, anyway. We don't have much in the way of clothing, but hopefully it's enough to keep us warm indoors. I guess we'll see. Yeah, I'm warming up. Um, alright, let's. Let's take a look around the room first, and then we'll it end up being useful. pop open the map and see, uh, you know, what our what our objectives look like. Cardboard box, nothing. Gloves. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Okay. I think that's, uh, unless I'm just missing anything, it seems like that's really all this place has to offer. Not a great start. Did I, did I come up with any matches yet? I've got a few, not, uh, not a ton. It's over here, okay. Oh, there's another flare. thought those were matches, but flare, uh, since we're in Blink Inlet, might be just as useful as matches would be. Um, let's see what else. Okay, let's take a look at the map and figure out what, uh... Oh, okay, let's see here. I thought they would actually be marked on the map, and maybe they are, but... So, Broken Rail Railroad, the Maintenance Shed, Hushed River Valley, Mini Falls Vista, that one is gonna suck. For sure. I'm not a big fan of Hushed River Valley. Um, Timberwolf Mountain, Crystal Lake, that... Uh, that shouldn't be too bad. Crystal Lake, obviously, um, if you know that map, is, is pretty soon, as soon as you get into Timberwolf, so um, that just needs to be kind of a an in-and-out visit, almost. Um, Ravine, that ought to be fairly straightforward, and then Desolation Point. I don't think the list on there is... I don't think it's too challenging, um, honestly. I think Hushed River Valley is probably going to be the hardest um, spot to, to get to, and I don't think, it's not like the Nomad Challenge where I have to get to those locations and then, um, you know, stay for any allotted amount of time. Um, okay, yeah, so they are on the map. Be nice if the map had, uh, what happens if I press for more info? 
Um, okay, just the same info. Um, it would be nice if the maps had the actual locations on them. So I always have to stop and think about what region connects to, to what. Okay, so let's take stock. Um, I've probably spent too much time just sitting here talking, but um, I really not familiar with this challenge, so I did want to kind of get a get a feel for for what's going on. Um, let's see. I don't have a ton in the way of food at this point. Let me let me look at the map for Bleak River Inlet or Bleak Inlet. So we're I think roughly like right about here. Um, cannery is like roughly here. Uh, there's probably a lot of resources there in terms of food and things, but um, there are the timber wolves that live over there, which I know there's the track that goes above them. I know I do have a couple of flares, but I don't know still if that's going to be something I want to uh, want to mess with. Um, I know there's another cabin up in the woods here that might be a good stopping spot and then normally uh bleak inlet if if you um are coming to this map for the first time it's kind of broken into two spots until you hang a rope um to kind of climb up and down um in one location so i don't know if i'll even really be able to get to the upper upper parts of the map right away let's, let's rest and warm up a little bit it'll make me feel better um, and the wind died down outside, so let's take a look outside. Um, I, personally, I'd like to get out of here. I'd like to get out of Bleak Inlet. I think the Timberwolves are um, enough to drive me away <laughs> in a quick manner. Um, and I don't... I don't recall if there's normal wolves in this region as well. I don't think so. I think they're all pretty much replaced uh, with the timber wolves here. Okay, so... Let's... I know you can't get into here, but let's take a look around. See if there's anything on the ground, maybe. Like a hatchet or a knife or anything. Nope, I'm just wishful thinking. Okay, I searched that ice fishing hut. I think that other one is probably out of reach to go back to. Um, I don't think we... Man, there's a bear up there on that hill. Um, I don't think there's much sense in going back to that other ice fishing hut. I, I don't know that even if Can't we did find feet. anything, I don't know that it would be meaningful. Unless it was a rifle or something. Some coal, take it. Could be useful. And some more wood. And I need to. I need to pick up the pace a little bit. I don't have too long to be out here cold. All right. So there's the bridge. I honestly, I, I, I feel like I know this map fairly well, but I don't necessarily remember where all the the spawn points are for the wolves. Um, so I, I don't, uh, you know, I don't necessarily know that I need to avoid one certain area over the other. Too cold to think. Yep, I know you are, buddy. So there's kind of, like I was talking about, there's two ways in and out of here, um, the region. One is kind of, I think, mm, kind of up that direction, where you basically would have to climb a rope to get out, and that takes you up to the like a forestry tower, um, which would be good to loot. And then there's also, I think it's kind of straight on, or maybe a little further that direction. There's a uh, just a cave system, if I remember right. So just keeping our head on a swivel. Mostly watching out for those timber wolves. That'd be a hell of a way to start the challenge. Okay, Raven crossing. Yeah, I'm gonna get crossbow out here, huh? I 
think that other, yeah, that other cabin is up this way. We'll head there. I do think actually there are some wolves, some timber wolves by that, this cabin that I'm headed for. And that's just because I actually called that home for quite a while in one of my sandbox series. Um, in one of my sandbox playthroughs, I guess. So we will be careful, but um, I really need to get to some shelter. Hope that there's some food there, and then maybe I'll start a fire uh, there and uh, boil up some water. Make that today's objective. And I do know that there's some rabbits, I think, in the area as well. So might be uh, some food I can get. I didn't pick up any stones, which now I wish I would have, but I could probably find some as well. We'll see. If I need to backtrack, but, uh, backtrack I can. Just gotta be careful doing it here. Yeah, okay, there's the cabin. Stick. Uh, I really don't wanna, I wanna get there. Don't wanna spend too much time outside if I don't need to. Um, it looks like it could storm as well, so. This is one of the uh, reasons why I like uh, I like this as kind of a spot to call home in survival mode, because um, pretty much all of the wood that drops here is fur, and I just have a personal attachment <laughs> to fur. Uh, for me, it's pretty much fur wood or nothing. I know it's a lot heavier than cedar, but um, it burns a lot better. I feel like. Okay, so let's take a pause here. Usually if there are timber wolves, they're gonna be kind of down on that, uh, I guess you'd call it a little lake here, but I don't see anything right now. There's usually kind of either a mix of, of deer or wolves, and I think the wolves are a little bit farther, like past that tree bridge, and the deer are usually kind of like right out on there. And that's one thing I like about this spot. And there's usually a hatchet up here. Let's see if there is here. I don't see it. It's Nope, not here. So there's sometimes a hatchet that uh, drops right into this stump. But I do find some hatches. And let's take a look around. Okay, let's jump inside for a minute. So I like a pry bar again. That's a bummer. Hopefully we find some decent loots here. We'll see though. it might come in use. Um, That'll come in handy. Take that, we can make some tinder with it. And some dog food. Take it. And did I kind of already look under? Yeah, nothing. that's it folks that's everything that this cabin's got to offer what time of day is it it's kind of late afternoon Let's look at the map am i cold in here i think i'm cold in here yeah it's cold in here that's a bummer let's jump in the bed and see if that uh yeah that, that ought to warm us up let's pass time at least for a little while <laughs> yeah i'm cold in here dang um, well, okay, well, we can sleep here, but we really can't. It's, I guess it's better than being outside, but let's see what else we got to put on that maybe can make it better. Nothing. Oh, still cold. How's the frostbite for this? It gets pretty low at this point. Um, but let's look at the map. roughly right here. I think the climbing rope is kind of on this 
little line of rock walls. I guess we could maybe poke our head out just to see if it's there or not. I, I doubt it is, but um, if, if it is, it would be nice. Um, well, let's, let's maybe pass a little bit more time to get our warmth up. Sounds like the wind dropped more. I mean, I said I was going to start a fire. Of course, I did not do that, but we still have time in the day. I don't have a pot at this point. I just have a couple cans, but I can make, you know, four or five cans of water, and that'll hopefully get us for a day or two. I just I just mostly want to see if that rope's there. Um, that's really all I'm trying to accomplish right now. Um, although I will say that sometimes there's some food up here. There's like a park bench um, next to this waterfall. The cold is making my head feel thick. Um, that uh, I could use definitely at this point. Yeah, I don't. I'm not going to go too far in this. It it looks like it's about to start coming down pretty hard. So. Not worth the risk at this point. Yeah, so a little bit more food. That'll come in, in handy. Alright, let's get back inside. It's not It's not worth it. Would like to have that. Um, I have no tools at this point. Um, I forget where it is exactly. But it's pretty much like right over there. I feel like the climbing rope. So... Even if we don't get out there today, which we're not going to because of the weather, um, we can look first thing tomorrow if the weather's a little better. I think we have enough food for another day or so before we're really going to be in too much trouble. Let's go ahead and start a fire, see what we got. Alright, so we got 20 matches. I'm gonna break that newspaper down to some more tinder. Because we're probably gonna need to uh, have as much tinder as possible just because my fire starting skills so low at this point. Let's do this. I had two newspapers, so let's do both of them. And then I need to drink the water I do have because I just, just ran dry. gets us. Yeah, so let's go ahead and get a fire started. We'll cook up a little bit of water. Sticks are usually a better option it's to start the fire. Usually have a little bit higher uh, chance. Let's go ahead and throw some more fuel in there. We've got four hours worth. And I have some coal as well that I could use, but. Alright, the water. Cycle can. Give me everything you got. Alright. Let's go ahead and just pass time. Supposed to take about 30 minutes to to cook a can of water. A little over. So still got time. At this point, my weight, um, because I don't have anything, is so low that really as much water as I can carry is what I want. Um, I feel like. Keep it going. Which time I got left? Probably at least one more batch. Oh, that no, one wasn't ready. Anything 
right now. Okay, so that's a good amount of water. Yeah, we're over a gallon, that's plenty. Let's eat this guy since he's pretty low. And then let's maybe like one of these granola bars. And let's top off. And then we'll sleep through the night. Let's do mm, 10 hours. We'll see where that gets us anyway. Hopefully it's not a blizzard in the morning. That pretty much strands us. Okay, sounds like it went away. Alright, so not quite light out. Wait a little bit. Okay, I need to drink some water. And then let's take a look outside. I could eat something. Okay. And then I may look for some cattails as well while we're out. I'd like to get out of Beacon Inlet today, but I don't know how realistic that is given the supplies that I currently have. Um, I'm going to have to do about uh, something about food before too long. I'm really not carrying a ton. So let's go see if this rope is over here, and if it's not, then we at least know that we need to move on to another location. Uh, I mean, use the other route to get out of the region. Which I think is pretty much just following the, the, the stream up kind of the center of the map. So... Should be like right over here somewhere. It is. I should at least be able to see the mount point if it's not there. It's not looking good. Yeah, now I'm getting cold fast. I don't want to burn too much energy. Okay, it's not there, because that kind of off-colored uh, line of the rock wall in front of me would be where it was hanging from, so. Or, uh, no luck. No luck there. That would have been handy, because um, I would have basically been ready to be out of this region. But not today, doesn't appear. Can't feel my hands. Nobody, I'm sorry. So cool out there. Negative. Goodness. <laughs> I ought to probably turn back um, if I want to live another day. Unless I see uh, some shelter. So I forget. I don't think there's really much else up here. Down for a bit. Um, and I guess one thing you'll notice about me is that I will say that I need to do something and then I just won't do it. I'm still going for me. Oh gosh. Alright. See if we can get away from this. I'm tired. Um. Yeah. yeah, let's just go back to our cabin. But now we'll know. Keep these guys in the distance. Um, and we have one flare left, so that might be our get out of jail card um, if this situation happens again. I'm about where I'm going. Um, and uh, we're probably going to need it to get out of here, given that that's the situation that just unfolded. So let's get back. We'll get inside, get warmed up, 
Um, I may check the lake down there for rabbits. See if there's any rabbits to be had. And then, you know, honestly, if my plan is going to be to leave through the other uh, route, Serpentine motion. All right, we're good. Um, I may go back to the cannery residence and call that my like launch point, since it's a little bit closer, I think, to where I want to be going. Um, and it, if nothing else, it shouldn't take me right through the path of those wolves, um, like that just did. So I think that's going to be my plan once I get kind of a little bit better shape here. Let's go ahead and lay in the bed for a little while. I'd eat anything right about now. I know you would, buddy. Okay, I really do need to eat something, though. Um, let's see. Let's eat the beans. And then we'll take a look outside and consider running back down the hill to the cannery residence and uh, calling that home for uh, until we can move on. And I said I was gonna look for some rabbits, so I'll kind of take a peek and see what I can see. See, uh, there's any opportunity for some food there. I guess I don't have a stone either though, so um, I'll need to pick some up as soon as I see them, unless I find something to otherwise bring in a rabbit. I think we're clear of the wolves at this point. And that frostbite is hitting me so fast. What is it? It must be my head. I don't have that hat on. Um, okay, so... We burned a lot of calories last time we were out just with those wolves. Um, so if I don't have to run, then I'm not going to. I really feel like the challenge so far is just going to be to get out of uh, Bleak Inlet. Which makes me wonder, like, if I hit... Um, if I had, like, as immediately when I spawned, if I had tried to just make a push for it rather than searched around for a little bit, if, uh, if I'd have made it or not, it's a good question. Grab this stick. I need to find some place to escape this I'm gonna try and pick up as much, like, free sticks as I can for fire as I walk. I think I'm free of the threat of Timberwolves right now. And I'm really not too much farther from the residence. So uh, I, I may have to start a fire when I get there. Yep, I know. Goddamn freezing. I hear you, buddy. I hear you. Really, I do. Oh, yeah. Let me know. Uh, let me know in the comments what you guys think of, think of the uh, Temper Wolves. I know that there was a lot of controversy and stuff when they got introduced. Um, you guys think they're uh, like an interesting challenge? Do you think they're? Uh, you wish they weren't weren't in the game? 
Um, what are your what are your thoughts and opinions on the on the Timberwolves? I'm kind of undecided still at this point, to be honest. They, uh, I like, I really like this region overall, um, like as a as a map, but um, they certainly make it more challenging. Well, we may have to stay down here anyway for a little while just to recover some condition. Um, at this point, we've kind of we're starting to run a little ragged. I may have to check out the cannery anyway, just as a just as a way to survive at this point. Obviously, not going to get into the workshop. I don't think um, I'd have to get pretty darn lucky, um, and chances of that aren't aren't good. And then I want to check out the map again to find out what kind of my best route up the hill is going to be. I need to find food because I'm not a hundred percent sure. All right, so I should be just right down the hill. Yeah. All right. Well, I feel a little bit, a little uh, defeated at this point, um, but we'll we'll be all right. We just need to recoup. Reorganize and push on. I think cattails down the, like the bank over here. I'm not seeing much. All right, let's get inside for a little while. So I should have at least one more day's worth of food. I think I still have plenty of water. Um, so I think tomorrow, like I, I'll probably end up staying the night here. What time is it? Uh, it's kind of midday, a little after midday. Um, so again, I'm like roughly, am I? I think I'm right here, like right here. Um, I was thinking over here, but no. So basically I need to get out, I think come this way and I'm pretty sure the exit is just like roughly in this area. Um, but there's not much between here and there. I think there's some trailers like on the side of the, the lake, which um, aren't exactly on the way. But so I think I need to basically get out as fast as I can, kind of maybe walk the water line if possible, and then head up the frozen creek there and see if we can get to the cave uh, that takes us out of here. Um, let, me, let me step out. I want to look at something. Actually, let's let's pass an hour to get some warmth. Okay. And I need some water. I basically just want to get a rough feel for how far I am from those trailers. They're kind of on the far side of the lake from where I'm at. But I think if I crossed the uh, bridge that takes you over towards the cannery... Um, that kind of puts you on the same side as those trailers. And then maybe I could just make a, make a push to those trailers for the night. And then that would put us that much closer, um, in the morning to try and get up the mm. creek to the, to the cave so we can get out of here. What do we think? I don't think I'm, I don't think I'm going to risk it. I'd like to, I'd really like to, but my condition's only getting worse at this point. So I think we'll stay here for the night and then uh, my fingers feel numb. hopefully just make a brazen push for that, uh, that little campsite of trailers in the morning. So I need to eat, which kind of a scary premise because I don't have a ton of food left. But let's go ahead and do the dog horse and probably the granola bar. I don't even have a uh, yeah, I don't even have a can opener, so I'm, I lost a quarter of that, which is a bummer. I might have to eat peaches too. Hmm, it's 
no good. I may have to move on. Okay, so I'm warm. Let's take a look outside. A couple ideas come to mind. I could go down back on the water and go over to that ice fishing hut we skipped earlier and see if there's any food in there. Um, or just make my push to the trailers like I mentioned I would do. I think that's what I'm going to do. I think I'm going to go for the trailers right now. I think I can walk across this ice without it breaking. Um, and just kind of shortcut under the bridge, maybe. I think I'll be able to make it. Um, and then we'll have that be our, our resting spot for the night. And then first thing in the morning, we'll, I guess, run like hell up that hill to try and get to the cave entrance. Um, so... This is going to take us a little bit over what I want to, how far I wanted to go on this episode in time, but uh, I think it's worth it. I want to see the, I want to see the conclusion of of this mess uh, before we uh, call it an episode. Um, so you know what? Here in just about a second, I'm going to go ahead and I'll pause it, and then uh, that way I've got two files of video I can use. Um, I'll do that, and that'll, that'll make things work out a little bit better. All right, so bear with me for just a second. All right, hopefully that wasn't long for you guys. That was uh, about 10 minutes of my time. I actually ended up going down. I have some ribs on the smoker for dinner tonight. Went ahead and pulled them off the smoker, got them wrapped up and put back on. So nice little break in there. All right, so hopefully I can get along this edge well enough to get over to those trailers. Yeah, sprain risk. Hopefully this works out the way I'm hoping it will. Oh, no, 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 that's a good Close one. <laughs> All right, so I think we're gonna be okay. We just can't get too far off the edge here, which is fine to be expected. Uh, hopefully we're going to be able, though, to kind of follow the whole path all the way around and not uh, not hit some point where we can't go forward anymore. And then, yeah, so basically, if, if you're looking straight right now, I think the exit is basically kind of up that hill, at least. And there might be some wolves along the way, but we got one more flare, so we should be able to make it. We should be okay. There's the trailer I'm headed for. Um, yeah. Should be pretty much, uh, should be able to make it before we get cold, so we shouldn't really lose any condition in this deal. Uh, the only real question is going to be whether or not this uh, this side over here, it looks flat Can't enough. My feet. Yeah, it looks flat enough. I was just questioning whether or not we would be able to walk along the edge like we have been doing, or if I was going to get to some weak ice, but yeah, the snow is... The snow is flat enough that I could probably walk across the snow and not even have to worry about the water. Um, yeah, we're going to make it. I'm glad we did this tonight and not uh, not in the morning. Because I'm going to just be all that much hungrier uh, come morning. It would be great if we got in there and there was a nice big juicy steak or <laughs> something. Uh, heck, I'll take uh, another can of beans this point. Okay. Well, that's kind of my goal for now. Let's get inside and kind of take a look at what we can do. Die if I don't warm up soon. Well, I think I'm out of food at this point. There's no matches. Put those for sure. Let's just look around back. See what's out here. Nada. Nada. Nothing over here. Right in. Nothing. Okay, so we got a pretty good starting point for the morning, though. 
I think this is good. This is good. Let's get inside. Try and warm up tonight. I wish we had some tea or something to try and get the condition back a little bit faster, but be too easy, right? There's nothing easy in this game. Yeah, it's still cold in here too, so. Um, ooh, is there a bed in here? There's no bed in here. Do I have a bed roll? I don't even have a bed. Oh dear. Can I sleep? Was that a spot I could sleep on that? Run back there. Yeah, okay. I can sleep there. Is it going to warm me up? Not much. Could be an interesting night. We may not make this one. We'll see. Consume some uh, sardines. And, uh... Let's see what's in here. Nothing. Yikes. Okay, well... Oh, perfect. That's clutch. Uh, could be interesting, guys. Could really be interesting. Let's go ahead and at least get ourselves over freezing. Something's making me feel tired. Yeah, yeah, it's been a long day, my dude. Okay, what do we got in here? Not that. Alright, well. Am I missing anything? Is it possible I'm missing? There's got to be something in here. I think I had it all. Okay, well, what, uh, I mean, what more did I expect, really? So, let's see, what do we got for food? Is it just those two things? Are we down to just those two? We are. Um, hmm. What will sleeping do to us? Okay, so let's sleep through the night, and we'll wake up hungry, really hungry, and then we'll eat what we've got, and we'll go. Let's do it. And then I, I'm probably going to cut the episode here. Um, I'll probably wake up, and uh, it's going to save, and I'm going to call it uh, call it a day. What I say? I say I'm gonna do something and I don't do it. Never right, so hungry in my life. Let's eat. Let's eat. Let's eat. Let's eat. I really gotta find a can opener. Twenty-four percent was lost. It didn't do much for us. Okay, we'll call it there. Um. We'll see what happens in the next episode, but uh, as always, I appreciate you guys joining me for the episode. Um, I, I hope you enjoy the content I'm putting out. Uh, I'm still trying to get this channel off off the ground, so I um, appreciate any support. If you wouldn't mind uh, liking the video and subscribing to the channel, um, I try to put out as much as many videos as I can. So um, I try and keep you guys entertained. So definitely, again, please like and subscribe, and uh, I'll catch you in the next one.